Which means my boy Oogie Boogie, my pied male, finally has a girlfriend. So that's gonna be cool. Welcome back guys. Tish from Python Spawn. Yeah, it's gonna be another spooky edition. Come on in. You hold it. I don't want to hold. All right. So I guess Chucky just gave me the heart of Dumbala. I wonder what plans he has for me. So we're just going to keep it here, okay? All right. As you guys remember, Chucky is my little co-host. Big co-host. Big co-host. Sorry. Big co-host for this edition, the spooky, spooky Halloween editions. Um, so this week, we took a poll and we asked you guys what we wanted what you guys wanted to see on my next vlog. And you guys voted, and it is my breeding projects for 2022. So obviously that one, it was like 76% or something like that. So I appreciate you guys all, you know, um, voting for that. And I'll be having a lot more uh, polls in the future. So thank you. Gives me an idea of what you guys want to see. But before we get into that, we got some stuff. And even before we get into that, we have a shout out. So as you guys can see, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. So yes, I am a hardcore Slytherin, but I do have my love for the Gryffindors, don't worry. And under that, we got Bob's Balls. It was literally the only brand new black shirt. But man, every time I, I see this shirt, I'm like, I love this shirt. <laughs> so huge shout out to Bob's Balls. Um, he's awesome. He's the one that sold me the ultra male female. He has some crazy ultra male stuff and I'm hoping to snag a boy from him for next year. So let's get into this shade tree exotics. You guys know, I always pre-open this stuff just to make the videos a little bit quicker. Very cool. Shade tree exotics. And from them, we got a nice little note. Thank you for following my crazy journey as I make all the rookie mistakes. Dude, we all make rookie mistakes. Uh, good luck on all your future endeavors and may the odds, go odd gods be ever in your favor. Sincerely, James and Bridget Rhodes. Very cool. I appreciate the, uh, the good luck and I uh, hope you guys have a great season as well. Next one we have Panther City Reptiles. Thank you and good luck this year. Very cool. So I thought this was like the coolest logo. I say that about every logo, but really it is pretty cool. Very cool. I wanna know who made this logo for you guys. Very cool. And we have Yosemite Reptiles. Did I say that right, Vinny? Okay. I'm bad at that. Ooh, we got a lot of goodies in here. So we have stickers. And we have a business card. Very cool. And we have a note. Let's see. I love the notes. Tish. Thanks for the opportunity to do a sticker swap. We enjoy watching your videos and look forward to content you will be making in the future. We hope your 2022 season will be blessed with many beautiful clutches. We look forward to seeing your posts and stories. Please find and close a couple of stickers. Yes, I saw them. Awesome. Thanks again for the swap. Sincerely, Kevin. Very cool. And good luck to your 2022 season. And thank you so much for watching us religiously. I really appreciate that. And... You guys all heard about one of the biggest power moves in the reptile industry right now. Huge shout out to JKR, AKA Canova. So as soon as he, I heard about that, I was like, oh, we are totally getting new stickers. So I ordered these and man, are they cool. I love the simple logo. I, I just love it all. Like. 
I love the name. It's really, really cool. So there you go. Canova. The original JKR sticker. And there you go. I actually just got the t-shirt with this sticker on it. And it's really nice material. This package, I guess, came with clutch cards too, which is really awesome. So they got clutch cards. A little bit of background on Canova. Some examples of their, their clutch records, which is really cool. Great idea. I'm sure he's been doing this a while. And of course, his crazy special pides. I don't know what else is in that, but geez, that thing was amazing when I saw that on video. I was like, what? what did, I think he called him the, the Terminator. And you can't, you can't go on a site without getting his 2022 calendar. I mean, come on. Look at that. I needed a calendar for in here, and boy, does this take the cake. Very cool. So that is our opening of sticker swaps. All right, let's get to the rest of the video. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna go through are the males that I have breeding this season. I don't have too many that are up to size. Um, we're gonna kind of repeat a lot of the males, but we're gonna use them in a different way. So one of the biggest things we didn't have last year that we have this year is probably gonna be my main man. And that's going to be my Wookiee. He's a Wookiee Cinnamon Fire. I think you guys have seen me, uh, you guys have seen me bring him out a few times. He is going to be going to pretty much everything. At least, at least four to five females. As long as I don't over push him. So I think four to five females that he's going to. And... Yeah, he's gonna definitely try to. I'm gonna try to get him into recessives like crazy. So we're gonna we're gonna have fun with him this year. So again, Wookie Fire Cinnamon that he likes to. He seems to be really wanting to squeeze me. Wookie Fire Cinnamon, he's my good boy. Yeah, you are. That's the first boy that we're going to do. It's okay. My second one is again. What's the matters? My favorite clown boy. He's an orange dream pastel clown. He's gonna be making some crazy het clown uh, hets next year with some other codoms in it, and I'll get into that. Yes, you're gonna be the reason for all the het clowns we're making next year. And he's probably going to at least five, four or five females as well, including the het clowns. So we're gonna make some visual pastel orange dream clowns as well this year. And it's gonna be awesome, cause whatever is not, it's gonna be 100% hat. Whatever we don't hit in a visual is gonna be 100% hat. So I'm really excited about that. We had the leopard pin hat clown last year and he threw out four visuals. So I'm hoping that this guy does the same thing, if not more. Another one we're gonna, I'm kind of excited about actually. I'm actually, oh, he's in shed. I'm really excited about is, come here, buddy. I know you hate me. He's in really deep shed. Oh, yeah, you're, you're definitely upset. He's in deep shed, but that is my granite cypress. We're going to have a codom party with him with some really good codoms. And I have a secret that I haven't told you guys yet on what I bought in my quad purchase from, um, creation collectives so i did post the mail that i bought but he's not going to be in use until next season so he was my pastel he is my pastel vanilla desert ghost and the three females that i bought with him are going to be the ones that are going to have a we're going to have some crazy stuff this year hopefully hopefully we'll have some good pairings this year some stuff that i haven't created which is a lot of stuff <laughs> Let's see, let's see how this guy's doing. I know he was getting, no, he is shedding out currently. So 
we're not gonna bug him. So that one is my Mojave 100% Het Puzzle. Um, I do wanna make visuals. I have the FEMA that's coming up. She's not quite ready yet, probably next year, but we're gonna try to make some 50% Het Puzzles as well. And here's the one I'm gonna definitely get into this year. We're gonna put him into some, oh, I'm not gonna touch you. We all know how your attitude is. This is my Arcane. And I don't know if you guys know too much about the Arcane, but we're gonna try to breed him to a couple of dark jeans and a couple of light jeans as well. We're gonna definitely start bringing in some Arcane um, hardcore. And we're, we're gonna try, I don't know what we're gonna do yet with my Arcane female. She's a Lemon Blast Arcane, but when I do decide, a lot of these plans are gonna change because I believe I'm still gonna get a Desert Ghost breeder male and I do want to try to get um, another visual, probably Ultramel. So a lot of these are going to be dual sired or we're going to, I'm going to have multiple sires once I get um, the new males. So another one I'm going to repeat. Actually, we haven't bred him yet. So he's going to be on the breeding team this year. He is the gravel and you have stuck shed, bruh. But there's the gravel. He is guaranteed gravel. There's no guessing with him. He is guaranteed. He came from a super gravel. And we'll clean that up later, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, 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 don't get mad. Got it. I got it. Um, yeah, he's going to get... He's probably going to go to my leopard because I think the leopard gravels are really pretty. Mushu. That is the... This is actually the male that I couldn't confirm with. He is the yellow belly slash asphalt from my lesser yellow belly clutch this year since we did not prove him out to be yellow belly or asphalt we're gonna try again hopefully we hit it but he obviously got the job done 10 healthy eggs fire calico yellow belly i'll show you guys this one he's kind of a jerk and he's in shed so he's even more of a jerk so our, my fire calico yellow belly, he is going to be going to, I actually wanted to see if I can get him into a recessive. So I might be, he might be pairing with one of my pods. Um, I haven't really made the plans in depth right now. Everything is kind of generalized. So I know what I don't have and I know what I want. So we're going to try for some crazy stuff this year. Let's see. You guys know my scale is head head ultra melt my scaleless did die so i am repeating that with the scaleless female that i had i have she's right there so we are going to repeat that pairing for next year um and my super special we're putting into pod that's a that's a given super special is going to pod because i do want special 100 percent head pods so i think that's the majority of my males so you see why i have a male shortage here um the only i have three more three more actually i see I have my I have to prove out this boy. He's an asphalt het pied. And we we have a yellow belly. We have two yellow belly het pieds actually. So I'm not sure if he is asphalt or not. I did get him from a local person and this is one of those things where you're just going to have to guess. Um we're going to try it. If we end up getting freeway pieds awesome i'm gonna be ecstatic if we end up getting super yellow bellies i mean yellow belly pies not terrible so well it would be super yellow belly pies so they all white but that's not the point it'd still be a, a cool animal genetically uh here we go what do we have here hello buddy so since my desert ghost visual is not up to size this year we are gonna pair this guy with one of the females I just got. He is a butter double head DG clown. So we're gonna hopefully have visual DG, um, visual butter DGs and visual DGs, 50% head clown. I just don't think the baby's gonna, he, it's the baby's so young, it's gonna be for next year, uh, next breeding season, 2023. Unless I do get the desert ghost that I'm trying to get. So he's supposedly a breed, uh, proven breeder male, so. And then the last male that I have, I know, relax. Come here. I actually really like you. Come here. 
Oh, don't be upset. So, this one is my Blackhead Cafe. And he is... Actually, let me weigh him. He's actually... If he's not ready to breed, he's about to be ready to breed. But I think he's ready. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's ready. You're ready. Come on. He's going to still be a little new. I do want them to be a little bit over 600 grams, but we'll try him. We'll see how he does. It's actually not a bad, it's not going to be a bad um, size to start breeding him. But I do want to get Blackhead into some crazy stuff as well. Honestly, this one is probably going to go into... <sighs> I really do love... Oh, relax, buddy. I don't, I don't know. I think we're going to go darker, actually. We might go to my GHI. My GHI pinstripe. Oh, I know. So, those are the males that we're working with this season. There are some males that I'm not going to be using, and there's some males that are not to size, and there's some males that I sold. So, can't repeat the pairings if I sold them. And you guys know about my, I'm hoping to do later on in the season, I hope he's going to be up to size. One of my biggest ones is my yellow belly Pos Mahogany Pie. He is going to be such a great breeder along with the van uh, Vanilla Pastel Desert Ghost. Those two I'm waiting to come up to size, so next season is going to be even more epic. But right now, those are the males that I'm working with. So, let's look at the females. Sorry, I was a little distracted. My girl seems to be about to lay eggs again, unfertilized. So, in the two seconds that I just left you guys, we've decided to split what females we're going to be pairing because this video is going to be kind of long. So you guys are just going to have to come back next week. Oh no, next week to see the rest of the females. So we're going to go to uh, the first two racks because those are the ones I've had the longest. And we're going to tell you what, what I'm going to switch up. So let's get right to it. Right to it. Also, next week is when I'm finally going to show you guys the three females that I have that I haven't told anybody that I have yet. And they're going to be prime for next for this breeding season 2022. And I, I mean, I might as well wait until Halloween special, like the day before, like the, the actual video before Halloween to show you guys. And I think they're, I'm going to switch them over in here. Um, they have a couple more weeks in quarantine, so they're doing really good. They're eating. They, they actually, one of them's already shed. No issues whatsoever. So we're going to bring them in. Um, without further ado. You too? Everybody's in shed. So I have this pied. Like I said, she's probably going to go to special. So the pied is always a funky one. The pied is always a funky one because there's so many things you want to do with pied. So with the two, the two that I have here, I do want to put one. And so I have this one here. I might as well show them. Oh, nope, that's pastel. Well, I have the pied there. We'll go over next week, but I have that pied there and I have this pied. And one's going to go to the special, one's most likely going to go to the um, Wookiee Cinnamon um, Fire. Khaleesi! Don't be upset with me. Okay, alright. So, she is a Vanilla Pastel Enchi. She's not being nice right now. And she is mo Vanilla Pastel and Enchi. You heard that, right? Vanilla Pastel and Yeah. I'm putting her to the Wookiee. So vanilla pastel NG with Wookie fire and cinnamon. It's going to be hard to ID, but very powerful babies. So to me, Kodan party, yes. But with Wookie, Wookie makes everything insane. So that's what we're going with her. And Sarabi, my albino. Funny enough, she's also going to Wookie. I want some Wookie albinos. And... As much as nobody, not a lot of people like albino, I really love it. So I might as well make hets with something that I think would look beautiful in, you know, uh, albino. So I think I think Wookie's gonna be the great a great idea. Not only because well you're going light and dark and it's gonna be great co contrast. I also don't think a lot of people do it. Um, I'm I'm probably just making well I am just making hets. So it's not gonna be anything like super crazy next season, but I think when the babies are grown, they're gonna have some amazing patterns, amazing coloration, and, you know, don't sleep on albino, man. That's all I say. Albino, Candino, Ultramel, all the, the 
you know, uh, albino type uh, snakes. Don't sleep on them. They really are beautiful. Super Russo. That one's a tough one. What I do want to do is probably put Clown. So, her mate is probably going to be the pastel um, orange dream clown. We're going to do some clown stuff with her. I, lo I love Russo clowns. They're very beautiful. So, let's just put some pastel and <laughs> pastel and orange dream. Talk about beautiful. That's going to be amazing. Same thing with pastel G-stripe. Pastel G-stripe, we're going to make double heads this year. So, I saw on a lot of, not a lot, but one person, actually, take care. He has um, a pied, uh, a G-stripe pied. And I that's probably one of the first things I wanted to make when I came into this hobby. And everybody was telling me there was a lot of issues with it. But I think I'm going to make the leap and we are going to do double heads. That's what I think. Which means my boy Oogie Boogie, my pied male, finally has a girlfriend. So that's going to be cool. They're going to be pastel and normal double heads. And... Hopefully, one day you guys will get to see some very healthy genetic stripe pieds coming from Python Spawn. Lilith is a normal pastel, which is also in Shed. Everybody's in Shed. She's also really mean. <laughs> Relax. But I've learned her ticks. I don't mess with her too much. She is also going to go to Recessive. Um, she's going to go to the Pastel Orange Dream Clown as well. And you guys, I already told you guys about uh, Alpha, which is my lesser yellow belly. We're going to repeat the pairing with my um, Asphalt slash yellow belly. We're going to prove them out. I don't care how we do it. If it doesn't happen the second time, that means one of them is not yellow belly or Asphalt. So I don't know who it is. But we are going to repeat it. She's a great mom. Gave me 10 beautiful eggs. And that's what we're going to do. And down to Leopard. The Leopard Girl. <sighs> hmm. The Leopard is going to be... I don't know. I'm about to make a decision right now. Hmm. What is the Leopard going to be? I know I said gravel, but I might switch that because leopard needs a recessive. Comment below if you agree. Yeah, I think I, it's either going to be between the gravel so I can make um, leopard gravels or pastel OD clown. Of course, this, all, this whole thing changes if I have DG. So if I get DG, majority of these are going to change. Everything's going to be swapped around. And my bamboo 66% head ultra male. You guys already know what I'm going to do. I'm repairing with the leopard head ultra male just to verify. Unless I get another ultra male male, um, a visual, then that's obviously what I'm going to do. Um, if I don't get an ultra male visual boy, breeder size, then I am going to repeat the pairing of the leopard head ultra male. And the last one for this video, and then we're going to continue next, se uh, next week is my very aggressive, as you can see on the tag, very aggressive, fire. So my fire is also going to recessive because I, I don't think I have fire in any recessive. So she is also going to my pastel OD clown. Obviously, I'm not going to show you every pairing because this, there's going to be a few that are going to be a secret. But this week, this is what I'm going to show you. And you'll find out more next week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, guys. So, sorry I had to split this video in two. As you guys can see, it's kind of a long video. And we're not even in detail yet. We're not even close to detail. This is probably going to be like a four-part video. Because not only are we going to talk about genetics and what I'm going to be pairing for this season, we also have to start calculating what, where their follicles are at. So we're going to do a lot of ultrasoning too. But next week, we're going to continue on with the pairing. I'm going to show you a little bit more. A lot of these uh, females are in shed. So I want to be able to actually show you the females off. I'm just going to wait for them to fully, you know, come out of their skin. Hmm. And then we can get up close and personal to some of them. 
and then the real fun begins so i appreciate you guys watching on my spooky halloween special shout out to you harry potter fans out there slytherin and i really appreciate you coming on and voting as well on my youtube channel i will be doing a lot more if i didn't say that already i think i did but i did i think i did i totally did anyway <laughs> don't forget to like share subscribe S subscribe just just please just hit the bell just subscribe please <laughs> um hit that notification bell um keep the comments rolling yes i totally got that from mutation creation and i'll see you guys next wednesday Wait, wait, wait. That went all the way forward. <laughs> that didn't work out. <laughs> the whole freaking cone came out. It was supposed to be like, hold on. How, how did Malfoy do it? Which, by the way, I have a snake named Malfoy. Ooh. <laughs> Demental, Demental. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> what? It was a good part. It was a great part. Prisoner of Azkaban, right? Yeah, my super special. That's his name, Malfoy. Oh my god. <laughs> the obvious, like for obvious reasons, his name is out Malfoy. Oh my god. He's one of the few males that I actually uh, named. By the way, guys, and his sister. Ew. Hi. <laughs> She'll be joining us at a couple of the shows too, so nice little brother sister best friend trio thing awesome hope you guys uh get to see something like that soon when you guys come to the shows when i'm vending for the first time it'll be cool <laughs>